Now listen. Before you start jumping to conclusions, yo, I just want you to listen. First and foremost, I need to apologize. Because I can't see it from no other eyes. You tried to check me, thought my vision was corrected, but you had the wrong prescription. Couldn't see from your perspective. All right, so let's get started. So I have already applied a base coat on my nail, and the color that I'm putting on here is going to be called Devotion. And it's from China Glaze. It's like a silver but with a hint of lavender in it. It's like a pearlized color. And I already applied that. Now what we're going to do is the diagonal line on here. And I used China Glaze. And it is Roman numeral 8. And it's like an eggplant, like a deep purple color. And we're just going to do a diagonal across the nail and fill it in. And then I just like to do one coat, let it dry, and then put another coat on. So while you're waiting for the purple to dry, um, I'm going to take a stripe right and it's in this copper color and I'm just going to draw a line along the diagonal. So it looks like that. I like to let it dry and then apply another coat on the line. Okay, so it's up to you if you want all of the nails to have this um, herringbone design. And herringbone is pretty much um, a distinctive, like a V shape on the nail, or a V design. Um, herringbone got its name because the design looks like the skeleton bones of a herringfish. It's like fish bone. And on my thumbnail, I did like a rose pattern. I'll show you how to do the herringbone design. So I'm going to take a thin brush, polish in white, and this is a matte color or a matte white. So basically, what you're going to do is paint three horizontal lines across. And you're just going to paint it on the purple part. So it looks like that. And now we're going to do the little detail work of the herringbone. So basically it's just little diagonal lines. And then you're just going to go the opposite way for the other side. And just to clean the sides, just use a silver thin brush. And then you have this cute herringbone design. For the rose, you're just going to take a white thin brush. And I already put one coat, so I'm just going to go over it with another one. And basically all I did was just use the brush, I made a dot in the middle, and then just little half circles.
these little curved designs and just put them all around. And these just form the petals of the rose. So it looks like that. And then I just did like these little designs right here on the sides. So they can be like the leaves. And that's the herringbone design. So you're just going to let everything dry and then just apply a top coat. But I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And if you guys like the music that I'm playing in the background, that's Pac-10 Mag Flux representing San Diego. Hey! And if you guys enjoy that and then we're digging the music, you can click on this link right here right down here and it will lead you to their website but I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch me and I will see you guys later peace wow girl I don't think you're listening you're making it hard to be a gentleman you heard it straight from the lips of the stallion but your guards up like army battalion <laughs> yo hey check it out mag flux this is AM. We about to show you how we do it in San Diego. Check it out. Uh, hey, check it out. Uh.